Okay, I am Migu. I am back after that uh, two-hour RPG task with an eight-minute platformer. So we'll get started um, in three, two, one, go. Uh, this task was um, made in 2017 by Sharky, Really Tall, and Alactorn. Um, uh, I'll, I'll, for this commentary, I'm going to assume that you are familiar somewhat with the original game on N64. Uh, this was a remake for the DS and from 2004. It added um, new playable characters, uh, new courses, 30 new stars. Um, this is an 80% run, so we won't see too much of that, but we will see Yoshi playable is the main thing, I think. And also, the physics engine is pretty redone. So there are very different glitches, and that's the main thing that separates this run from a run of the original game, an 80% run. Uh, the intro is also a little bit longer, so while it happens, if there are any more donations, you can go ahead and read them, or any more announcements. I don't think we have any donations All to right. read right now, but do remember we do have those incentives, so keep those donations coming. Um, so yeah, well, I didn't work on this run at all. Um, this was uh, made before I really got into tasking this game, but now I'm working. I'm. This is probably my main task project now. We're working on 150 star. We're also working on a new 80% run, which should be this one, but that's in the work still. So. Um, we're going to gain control soon with Yoshi. That's how you start in this game. Um, normally, of course, you're supposed to enter the castle. Uh, this version, uh, you actually need a key to enter the castle. Uh, and that requires catching a rabbit, and altogether, it takes... It's kind of slow, so we're going to do something else instead. We're going to uh, enter the castle from the moat door, which has uh, requires a skip called moat skip. Um, by slide kicking down this waterfall in a precise way, we can actually down warp to the uh, bottom of the moat and just walk over to the door. So it's really great. We can just skip the water check and uh, enter the moat door. So this leads to the basement. Um, the basement is really good because we actually need a three stars for this run, and the stars in basement are a lot faster than the fastest stars in the lobby. So additionally to being faster to get to, we also have faster stars here. So the, for the first star, we're going to go to Lethal Lava Land and get the red coins. We're using a technique called glitchy long jumping, where you can long jump sideways and with high speed. It's very precise. It requires usually requires a touch screen. Um, when playing this game normally, people usually play with the D-pad since there's no control stick on the DS, obviously. Uh, but you can also use the touchscreen for movement, and that's what the task does. There's a lot you can have a lot more choice of what angle to go at when using the touchscreen. So now we're going to collect uh, the talents of the Big Bird. Um, some fast jumps on the quicksand there, and then some more glitchy long jumps on the pyramid and slide kicking down the pyramid to get the star faster. And for the third and final star, we're going to do a glitch called Star Cancel. We're going to use Yoshi's tongue to eat the star, and then uh, before landing on the ground, bounce on the fly guy. And this delays collecting the star. We can land on the ground, spit the star out, and eat it while entering the loading zone. And that skips the celebration when collecting the star, which saves like 15 seconds. And also, it allows us to pause exit right away. Without that, we'd have to re-enter uh, the painting and then exit course to get back to the lobby. Now we're going to do another uh, clip or I guess this is really the first clip in the run, uh, clipping out of bounds with that corner. And then that skips and going uh, and doing some precise C movements to skip the eight star door. So this is the course, the new course where you unlock Mario in. 
Uh, normally it's blocked by the 8 star door. Um, but we don't want to get 8 stars, and we have that uh, uh, clip to skip the requirement for having 8 stars. Uh, we're bringing an egg into this boss battle to save a bit of time. Uh, you have to hit uh, the Goom boss three times, and we can just do the first one right away with that egg. The other two will just use Goombas as soon as he becomes vulnerable. And also, uh, we are going to eat the key while falling out of bounds. While falling and dying. And this will, similarly to the Star Cancel back in Shifting Sandland, will skip the celebration for the key. And also allows us to exit course faster, because uh, to actually get unlock Mario, we'd have to go back through the 8-star door. But this door is also locked from the back side, since we don't have 8 stars and we actually would need to exit course to get to unlock Mario anyway. And now we're talking to Toad to unlock rabbits. Rabbits will be necessary for doing a skip later on. And finally, we can unlock Mario. Now, it's necessary to unlock some character that can throw Bowser to beat the game. Now, Mario is by far the fastest one to get. And here's the reason why we need three stars. We need to go to uh, Jolly Roger Bay to do a clip. Right next to the Jolly Roger Bay painting. And this clip will allow us to actually go all the way to upstairs right away. Um, normally you need the key from being Bowser in the Fire Sea to get upstairs. Uh, in the original game, you actually definitely need the key because you can't, the loading zone doesn't exist behind the door. In this game, the loading zone does exist behind the door, and you can actually walk out of bounds uh, without too much trouble. Um, it's, well, you have to stay on the scene, which is very difficult uh, normally, but with cats, it's not too bad. And now we're doing a rabbit clip. This is why we need to talk to Toad to unlock the rabbits. You get out of bounds like this, and then climb up the stairs with some forward long jumps. Also, those long jumps bypass the teleporter that normally, uh, if you don't have 80 stars, it'll prevent you from getting past the stairs. And we're already in Bowser in the Sky, the final level. And there's some great movement in this level. Um, we'll tra we're charging Y-Run here and going to do a triple jump to get a lot of height. Uh, we're going to maintain the Y-Run, which is a mechanic new to this game. And do some crazy jumps up to the top of the level. I really love um, the movement in this level. And here's the final boss. Uh, nothing much to say for the final boss, we just have to, you know, spin him, hit the bombs. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Uh, there's one funny, there's one small optimization here. So we're going to trigger Bowser's text mid-air by doing a dive reset. Which is a glitch that allows you to stand in mid-air for one frame. And then that's the end of the run. So, um, the last thing I want to say is that, like I said before, we're working on a new 80% run. Which is currently stuck in the endless stairs because it's very hard to optimize the long jumps that you just saw. Um, we actually have to do them on the other side because of the new skip that was found. Um, so we can't just reuse the inputs. So again, we, uh, we can watch the credits for this run, or we can just continue on. I hope you enjoyed this run, especially for people who haven't seen the DS version uh, to see the differences between this and the original because I think a lot of people are surprised to see how different it, uh, it is and how there's so many unique glitches and skips but still the game can, can be completely broken